Hello everybody, welcome to uh, John's Custom PC and Bills. Today we are working with a MSI Z170 X Power Titanium Gaming Motherboard. It's going to be powered with 16 gigabyte of rib gels. DDR4 RAM V series EVGA 980 graphic cards I7 7700K CPU I pre deleted it already and we are doing a complete custom case here ladies and gentlemen so i hope that you enjoy this build and i hope this helps you out we're going to walk you through some building steps here i uh, and let me show you further on over at the power supplies and everything how it all set up we are running two Glacier 1000 watt Rosewell Glacier power supplies. Multiple cooling fans, Cooler Master cooling fans, a standard DVD ROM drive. There will be uh, two M2 cards going in it. Three hard, multiple hard drives, three of them, uh, which is a two terabyte, a one terabyte, and a 750 gigabyte. So, and here we go. We got the uh, front panel controller. It's completely set up already. And everything and you can see all the custom mods and builds and holes and everything like that to hide the wiring and what's nice about this if you have to you want to swap something out you can pop the cabinet out the chassis the glass out the top real quick or if you don't have something sitting on top of it you don't want to move it. You could slide the shelf, the motherboard tray, in and out. See? Slides. Real easy. See? It slides in and out for us. Okay. We are using a Cooler Master V8 heatsink on this. Yes, my normal my water cooling water box has not came in yet. So I'm anxious to get this thing up and running. It all and everything. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to work. First off, pre-install your CPU. Be uh, delicate with the, with the 1151 uh, motherboards. The uh, CPU socket is very delicate. The pins will bend easily. Here, let me show you here. What it looks like. See? Them pins, them pins is so delicate, the slightest wrong move when you're uh, inserting your CPU can bend the uh, motherboard pants then when you got a big mess going on. Sit that there. 
put that down, put some thermal paste on there. As I said, the CPU is already pre delitted Now, we'll get our thermal grease. We have a uh, Cooler Master thermal paste here. It only takes a dab of it in the middle. You ain't gonna get crazy with it. Don't buy that cheap stuff from uh, over in China or nothing like that. Oh, some nice features about this board. Uh, it has the metal for the graphics card. For the, your graphics card and everything. This supports quad... Quad, crossbar, and three-way, two-way sly. Three or two-way sly. Here we have a six-pin power connector for extra power for your video cards in case needed. Up here, you have a four-pin ATX uh, power connector for your processor, or eight-pin, whatever your uh, processor processor um, your power supply has now mind you you do not have to plug both of them in and also if you're you could uh, put your four pin even into your eight pin socket and then you should be good to go uh, I'll come over here we will show you some more on the layout here's your 25 uh, 24 pin power connector this is your uh USB port, it's for use for updating your BIOS. Here's your th USB 3.0 uh, front header connector. And all your, you got uh, your four he headers to run four SATA hard drives plus two eSATAs. Down here, you have your front USB header connector. Here's for your front power connector. This little switch here is for your BIOS to go from A to B. It has dual boot BIOS. Over here, now look at this. You can shut your graphics card, your video cards off. One, two, three, four. You can shut all your video cards off right here with this switch, the flip of this switch. And that pretty much shows you the layout. And the back, the back of the board, you have uh, multiple power connectors, including a flash button, your Ethernet, your D HDMI here, USB 3.0, USB 2.0. Your PS2 power connect connector for mouse, keyboard, whatever. And your uh, audio sound. And look at the, the layout of this. Very nice. Look at the layout. She, it's pretty. It's nice. It's a beautiful board. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, it's a, a brand new system setup uh, board and everything. I pre-updated the BIOS uh, already. Also, if you don't, uh, you don't know how to update your BIOS, it, it's uh, you can send it in to MS, uh, contact MS, MSI. And they will update your BIOS for you uh, absolutely free of charge. However, you will have to take and tell, uh, wait for the for it to be shipped and everything like that. They'll send you a verification where to ship it. 
And you should have, you'll have your board back within two weeks. I updated mine myself. Because I have a Celeron uh, CPU laying around here. That I use for other computers and stuff like that when I have to update. Okay, now we're going to install the heat sink. This uh, heat sink, I was able to <coughs> <coughs> to cool a eight core, two hundred and twenty watt AM three CPU with it, and it held about sixty four C with that. That's a two hundred twenty watt. This uh, is only uh, registered for up to uh, one hundred and sixty watt, I believe. Cords is long enough, my god.
see here if I can do this. Perfect. Thank you. 